Frank Pullia says bringing his years of municipal experience to the federal political realm will change things for the better. Here's the story. We're in Kenora with Frank Pullia after a, a long drive to get here uh, and an early morning start. Frank, what did you feel with the speech that was uh, given by Conservative leader Andrew Scheer? Oh, that was a great uh, speech. Is always well, well articulated in uh, addressing the needs of our citizens across Canada. You know, life being more affordable. That's a focal point of our candidacy in even in Thunder Bay region, but across the country. What we're finding is that, you know, there may be jobs being created, but those are low-paying jobs and people still feel unsure about the future. So uh, the leader and future prime minister is addressing what he's also hearing across the country. We're hearing that too when we go door knocking. So he's touching on a very important points that uh, reflect the needs and uh, of the people, the common people, the people that uh, are feeling the impact of uh, the carbon tax and making life more expensive for them because it's not just uh, the fuel on your car, it's also you know, impacting uh, the police driving around to protect our communities. It's impacting the natural gas to heat your home in, in Thunder Bay Superior North. In our region of Northern Ontario, that's an essential service. So he touched on some very important points that were well, very well received. Now, Andrew Shear has a, a way of speaking that you don't really see in some of the other media. He, he gets right down to the grassroots level. Well, because he's, uh, you know, grew up in a working family, he came up the hard way, he's a father of a family of uh, five children. He, he comes across, he's traveling the country to meet people, folks like everybody, the common person. And uh, he's uh, reflecting uh, their uh, goals and values. And that's why the Conservative Party is leading in the polls. And it's been now, it's not just a little blip, it's been uh, leading for the last uh, four or five months. And as we continue to progress and bring our forward, our message of hope for a better future, it's going to resonate even better as we progress into the election time when the rate is dropped. We are finding that out right now when we go door knocking in Thunder Bay Superior North. The people are telling us. They're telling us that we need a different way of doing things, a way that reflects their needs and aspirations for a better future. Thunder Bay Superior North has a huge unrealized potential. We're still one of the lower economic growth regions in our province. When, with the knowledge that I can bring at the table, around the parliament table, as an MP, of the needs of our city and region, we can represent Thunder Bay in achieving those goals, in achieving that vision in a, for growth, jobs and prosperity that are long overdue. Now, speaking earlier today with uh, Kenora MPP, or Kenora Rainy River MPP, uh, Greg Rickford, he talked about the need for politicians to cooperate and how when he was working with Michael Gravel when he was in the federal role, he could pick up the phone and they put aside partisanship. Do you feel there's too much partisanship in today's politics in Thunder Bay? Well, what I'm hearing that the people of Thunder Bay Superior North don't want finger pointing from their elected officials and especially when we're talking about important jobs like those that are at risk for bombing the air you know we need to cooperate at all levels of government and as an mp conservative mps we will work with any order of government including the municipalities to do what's best for thunder bay region we should be working in collaboration in cooperation with the provincial government, especially when we are looking at $28.5 billion that already been announced for transportation infrastructure in the greater GTA. That's where the jobs are. That's where the contracts are coming from to ensure that the jobs of Bombardier are safe and protected for the near foreseeable future. That's where we should be putting our efforts in, not finger pointing and undermining the future viability of a manufacturing plant that has been the backbone of our industry, the largest uh, uh, private sector industry in our city and region. You don't play politics with the jobs and the future jobs of the people that work in that plant. We need a new level of cooperation, collaboration and respect. That's where we're talking about when we say value system, that need to be reflect the value of the people in Thunder Bay Superior North. We're talking about that type of uh, politicking and not finger pointing. Frank, thank you very much. Thank you.